from the Howard Hughes Medical Institute. The 1995 Holiday Lectures on Science. This year's lectures on the double life of RNA will be presented by Dr. Thomas R. Check, Howard Hughes Medical Institute investigator, distinguished professor at the University of Colorado Boulder, and 1989 Nobel laureate in chemistry. The first lecture will discuss catalysis, chemical and biochemical. And now to introduce our program, the president of the Howard Hughes Medical Institute, Dr. Pernal W. Chopin. Good morning. It's a pleasure to welcome all of you to the 1995 Holiday Lectures on Science. And we want to welcome not only all of you here in our auditorium in Chevy Chase, but those of you who are watching on television in thousands of schools across the country. You're in for a real treat. Our speaker today is Dr. Tom Check, who won the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 1989 for his work on RNA catalysis. But he's also a great teacher, and you're going to hear firsthand about the process of scientific discovery and about some of the most exciting things that are going on in research today. I know that you'll find his talks interesting, and I hope that at least some of you will consider pursuing careers in science. I spent almost all of my own career at doing work at the bench, and I can tell you that there's nothing more fascinating, no more rewarding for society than searching for the biological secrets that underlie health and disease. Uh, science holds the key to cures for diseases, cancer, heart disease, mental illness, and scores of other important things that plague us. We need to know the answers to such things as why tumors grow out of control and why the AIDS virus overwhelms the immune system. To do that, we must ask questions first at the basic level, questions about genetics and cell biology and other areas of basic research. This research may not focus initially directly on specific diseases, but it lays the intellectual uh, background from which ultimately new cures and m methods of prevention of disease will flow. It also opens up a whole new view of the world around us, and it's a wonderful time to be a scientist. Dr. Check and his other colleagues at the Howard Hughes Medical Institute are exploring the frontiers of biology every day. Uh, our institute is the nation's largest private philanthropy. It's a medical research organization. It has scientists uh, supported by excellent research teams that work in 62 locations across the country. There are about 280 of those scientists. They work in laboratories from Boston to Seattle, from Birmingham to San Diego. There are several Nobel Prize winners among them and a great many very distinguished scientists. Now, and in addition to research, the Howard Hughes Medical Institute is committed to enhancing science education, to training of tomorrow's scientists, young people like you. It, it is, has the largest private grants program ever mounted in U.S. history for, to promote science education. We sponsor hundreds of science education projects in universities, in museums, in medical schools, and other institutions across the country. And this holiday lecture series is just one, of our, one part of our effort to train the Tom Checks of the 21st century. Dr. Check received his bachelor's degree in chemistry from Grinnell College in Iowa and his Ph.D. from the University of California in Berkeley. He then did postdoctoral work at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. So whether you're watching this from the Midwest, or from the West Coast, or the East Coast, you all can rightfully claim Tom as one of your own. And that's particularly true if you're watching from the mountain states because Dr. Check is a distinguished professor of chemistry at the University of Colorado in Boulder, in addition to being an investigator of the Howard Hughes Medical Institute. The title of his series of talks is The Double Life of RNA. The first lecture is on catalysis, chemical, and biochemical. We're first going to show you a brief video about Dr. Check, and then he will speak. So on behalf of the entire Howard Hughes Medical Institute community, I welcome you all to the first in our 1995 Holiday Lectures for Science. 
Tom, we'll run the video first, and then I'll turn all these bright young minds over to you. Thank you. I made the decision to be a scientist at such an early age, I have trouble re remembering. My parents, who have saved absolutely everything that I ever wrote in grade school um, and, and on, have documentation from the time that I was in probably second grade. What do you want to be when you grow up? I'm going to be um, a scientist. The question of why did I uh, decide to specialize in biochemistry uh, involves a lot of serendipity. The reason I decided to major in chemistry was because I took a, an exam to pass out of, of freshman chemistry entirely and didn't succeed in passing out of it. And I was so mad, I said, I'm going to learn this stuff because it seems like material that would be worth knowing. It wasn't until my senior year that I took one semester of freshman biology and learned about molecular biology, which I really had very little experience with before that at all. The whole concept of, of everything that goes on in a cell as being chemical reactions, but chemical reactions that are controlled, regulated, manipulated for the purpose of cellular growth and cellular response is a fascinating area that man has pondered for thousands of years. A lot of the questions that people have been asking for thousands of years are being answered, and it's, it's a very exciting um, time to be a, a biochemist or a molecular biologist. A lot of people uh, in the general community think that the medical implications of the research are, uh, of course, what must be driving all of us. And we do pay attention to the possible medical spin-offs, but the real honest truth is that what drives us is curiosity about how nature works. And in the short term, um, we follow our nose a lot. And that turns out to be a very successful way of carrying out science. Uh, you develop a sort of intuition and uh, just following your nose can lead to discovery of things that are uh, in some cases far more significant than the uh, straight path towards the, the goal that you were uh, originally sought. The sort of dry explanations of science that you read in a textbook uh, is not the way that, that science is done. Science is done not by a scientist sitting down and saying, well, here's the scientific method. We have to have our hypothesis and then we, you know, this sort of set list of ways that you go about proving something, but that in fact scientists work in a much more haphazard, much more interesting way. So m my goal for the holiday lectures is to bring to life the scientific process and give students a glimpse of what it's really like to, to be a practicing scientist. Good morning and welcome to the double life of RNA. The sort of science that I'm engaged in is called molecular biology. So I think it might be a good place to start to ask the question, what is molecular biology? Well, it is not the sort of biology where one studies the social behavior of hyenas, although that's a fascinating area also. But instead, a molecular biologist is interested in the molecules inside of a living cell. What do they look like? What are their structures? How do they interact with each other and in some cases actually react with each other? How are they regulated and how do these uh, cellular molecules promote cellular growth, cell division, cell movement, responsive cell to its environment? And also how do these molecules promote the interaction of cells with each other, for example, to build a, a tissue or an organ? So given that I'm interested in molecular biology, you might be wondering why uh, these chemistry demonstrations are set up 